talk to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com Accomplishment Coaching is proud to present the following fine programming. Accomplishment Coaching, where coaches lead and leaders coach. AccomplishmentCoaching.com Welcome back to the Wealth Building Hour. Well, thanks for joining us. It's just great to have you on the, on the program with us. And you're listening today to Max Bolka. Max is a wonderful business coach, our business coach as well. Um, over 30 years in the financial services industry and 20 years as a coach. Also in a, a wonderful film, The Keeper of the Keys with Jack Canfield and John, Dr. John Gray of um, Men Are From Mars. And at Wealth Legacy Group, I mean, our whole goal is to, to bring a multidisciplinary approach to the planning experience. And we do that primarily for business owners and professionals and executives and their families, but using the comprehensive team approach. So that's why it's so important for, to us. We practice what we preach. We bring in people to us that are all also very much um, holistic. They're looking beyond just simply wealth as defined as money, um, but looking at wealth that is the social fabric as well. It's the histories, it's the relationships, it's the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual. It's all those things tied together. So Max, you were in the first couple things, first couple segments, we were talking about success is a state of mind. Do we in fact believe it's possible? Um, is, it, is it something that we also, do we deserve it? You know, two big, deep questions that most of us aren't asking ourselves. And and what's holding us back is this fear and lack and struggle. So you promised us that you're going to, in this next segment, give us six steps about how to get breakthrough over that fear and lack and struggle. So what what where do we start? Well, uh, thank you, RJ. You know, I'm a big systems guy. So when I figure things out, then I run with it. And I've I've discovered there are six steps that one can use for achieving just about any level of success in any area of life. And these are very practical. Now we move from the theoretical and the philosophical to the practical. So uh, everybody can write these down if they want. And I'll spend more time on some of them than others because we've got to move through in the time that we have allotted. And we, I know and, you're going to uh, make an but, offer towards the end uh, in our fourth segment about how people yeah. can get more of these ideas and material. So, sure. so if they're not I in a place that they can write this handed. down, <laughs> if you're not in a place you can write these things down, folks, don't worry. Uh, you'll be able to get another shot at it. Right. So the first step is to get centered spiritually, emotionally and spiritually. Pray, meditate, do yoga. I don't care what you do. But in today's world, I believe it's essential to have a spiritual practice that you employ daily. Daily. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple. It's that short and sweet and simple. Didn't used to be that way. I think it used to be a luxury. But given, you know, we've been around this over 30 years, you and I. And uh, I think I think it's no longer a luxury; it's a necessity. Yes, it and I see what happens when people are not spent, uh, who are not centered emotionally and spiritually. They just substitute other things to try to get that uh, foundation, and it never works out quite as good. So that's very simple. Is the first step. For the second step, I want to ask you a question, R.J. What do you think is the biggest difference between someone who earns, let's say, a hundred thousand dollars a year? And someone who earns five hundred thousand dollars a year. Well, I'd say a couple of points. One is again getting back to the self-limiting belief. Do I believe that I can do this, and do I deserve to be able to do this? But then the second part is, you know, what are my goals? Am I thinking about it? Is it something that mm-hmm. most most of us don't achieve success because, you know, it's about watching the next. Uh, sports game. It's about having time Mm -hmm. at the beach rather than saying, what's important to me? What do I want to accomplish? And I was just uh, reading this morning and tweeting out that uh, I'm trying to remember who the author is, but who said our goals, we should all have goals and our goals should scare us a little bit and excite us a lot. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Right. That's a good one. So here's what I would maintain, because when you start asking those questions that you ask, everybody starts thinking either or. I want you to think both. Mm -hmm. I want you to have it all, 200% success. You don't have to give up one for the other. The biggest difference that I have found after 20 years of coaching financial advisors around the country, biggest difference between a $100,000 advisor and someone earning $500,000 is they think five times bigger. So the second step after get centered emotionally and spiritually is to think big. People who think big tend to accomplish big things in business and in life. Most of us, most of your listeners, 
have no idea what power lies within them and how much they could achieve if they just expanded their thinking. All that's needed is to become clear on that vision and maybe a little guidance or encouragement, a book, a movie, a coach, etc., a support group. You know, somebody reportedly once asked Helen Keller, is there anything worse than being blind? Mm. And she said, yeah. yeah, a person with sight and no vision. Yes. In yes. my 30 years of working with clients, I have found that lack of vision is the number one reason most people never reach their full potential. As long as you're going to go through the trouble of thinking, think big. And, and RJ, you know this. Kids do this naturally. Remember when we were little, you know, we start jumping off the stairs and you start with the first step, uh-huh. then you go up two steps, then you go up three steps. Because, <laughs> darn it, we couldn't believe that we couldn't fly. That's right. <laughs> we just thought that big. We couldn't believe it that we, didn't, we couldn't fly. And, and it wasn't until I, – I think maybe I always knew that I couldn't draw. <laughs> and, and actually, what was hey. interesting in, – in, that was a little bit of a kid. But, but one of the things I, I – for years, I kept telling myself that I'm not very creative because I was measuring myself right. against a different level of creativity. What I discovered and what was absolutely a huge aha for me and many, many years ago now, thankfully, was that in fact – People, I've had friends tell me since, RJ, you're one of the most wildly creative people we've ever met. But mm-hmm. I was defining creativity in my own mind by the definitions right. uh, that I was saying, oh, that's a creative person because they can do this. My sister-in-law is incredibly creative. My wife is incredibly mm-hmm. creative. But I am too. I just in my own lane. And so we have these right. beliefs. And as soon as we take those off, all of a sudden we can have unimagined success and enjoyment. Mm-hmm. That's the other part that goes with it. As you were saying in the, in the second segment, some people have fear of success if they only knew right. how wonderful it felt. Because it's, success doesn't mean you're getting this and somebody else is not. It's not a zero-sum game where there's only a certain amount of pie. No, there's an unlimited amount of pie. Everybody mm-hmm. gets to eat whatever their food is. Um, it could be salad. There's an unlimited salad bowl here that people get to eat at and delight at, and it can benefit so many people. Take those restrictions off, those self-limiting beliefs. Well, it's hard for many people to think big, and I'll give you a couple of reasons why that is. You know, first one is socialization. We become socialized through a system of reward and punishment till we conform and we think like everybody else, which is usually smaller. Mm-hmm. My question is, where, where do you get those beliefs from? You know, most of us, our parents, our teachers, our religious leaders, you know, who do you think you are? Money doesn't grow on trees. You have to work hard. You're too young. You're too old. You're too tall. You're too short. You're too fat. You're too thin. You're too white. You're too black. You live in the wrong area. What if they're wrong? Mm-hmm. Yes. What if, they're, what if you really can triple your income working only four days a week? Take Fridays off, have fun, and still be a responsible person. So we're socialized. We've got to realize that. It's kind of like being in the matrix. You've got to step outside that matrix. Mm-hmm. The second reason why a lot of us don't think big after we grow up is that fear. We talked about it a little bit before, you know, uh, but successful people don't act out of fear or not act out of fear. They always come from a position of strength or love, and never out of a position of weakness or fear. You know, there's an old Chinese proverb. uh, It says, ignore the dragon and it will eat eat you. Confront the dragon, it will defeat you. But learn to ride the dragon and you will take advantage of its might and power. Mm, I hadn't heard that one before. That's good. Yeah, those who decide to ride the dragon, they always find a way. And those who don't, they find an excuse. In fact, I like to say it's a disease in today's society. I call it excusitis. Well, they got an excuse for everything, mm-hmm. right? No more excuse Titus. Get centered and think big. Those are the first two rules. What's number three? And we've got the two third, minutes. The third, <laughs> all right, two minutes. The third rule for designing your destiny is to be specific. You're thinking big, but I want you to be specific. Everybody wants to work less, make more, lose weight, and be spiritually fulfilled, right? Sure. The problem with those goals is they're not specific. You want to make more money? How much are you making now? How much do you want to make? If it's not measurable, it's not a good goal. So what do you want? Be specific. And here we get into trouble again. Many people are unwilling to write down really big, specific goals. They're afraid to ask for what they want. But I learned this from Les Brown when we wrote the book. You know, he wrote a book many years ago called Dare to Live Your Dream. You've got to give yourself permission to think big and be as successful as you want. Okay, be specific. 
You want to work fewer hours? How many hours are you working now? How many do you want to work? You want uh, even certain feelings. If you want to have certain feelings, define the situation that elicits that feeling in you, and let's set it up for you to win. Make sense? Sure. That's the third rule. Yeah, it's the person who says, I want to lose weight. You know, they, they complain about their weight, and yet they have no plan for exercise. They have no, they're not counting or looking at how much they're putting into their body. They're not, they're, they're not f- looking at developing the habits, the people who are thin. What are their habits versus the people who are not thin? What are their habits? Yeah, it's, you got to be right. specific. I ask them, how much do you weigh? They, they don't know. They mm-hmm. won't say. Mm-hmm. Well, how are we going to measure your progress? You got to be willing to look at these things. What's number four? Number four, the fourth rule for success is you got to take action. Take action and the universe will respond. I promise you, RJ. It doesn't always respond the way your ego likes, but it responds. <laughs> so if you want to be more successful, you can start anytime. The only fail, true failure is the failure to start because you basically you get out of life what you put into it. Mm-hmm. This is now, this is a scientific fact, Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And then I've outlined about four or five other ways you can, you can say it. Uh, in computerese, it's Geico, garbage in, garbage out. In Eastern philosophy, we call it karma. That's good, that's good action and bad action. We're, we're gonna, in Western p- religion... We're going to pick up these last three thoughts in a minute. It's like the three frogs were sitting on a lily pad. One of them decided to jump. How many were left on the lily pad? Three, because just deciding to do something, you got to take action. I'm with Max Bolka. You're listening to R.J. Kelly on WSRadio.com. Securing our eCity Foundation is a nonprofit organization focused on cybersecurity awareness and education. Formed in 2011, their mission is to enable every San Diegan to live, work, and play safely in the cyber world. For more information, visit securingourecity.org or call 619 630 2444. securingourecity.org, 619 630 2444. securingourecity.org. You were born to do one amazing thing, but most people spend a lifetime trying to identify what it is. If you're in a job you don't like or are unemployed, if you're in a state of transition or just can't shake that nagging feeling that you were meant and made to do something extraordinary, then the Reinvention Workshop is exactly what you need. Led by award-winning self-help author Steve Olsher, the Reinvention Workshop will forever change your life. The Reinvention Workshop takes you step-by-step through Steve's proven formula that has helped so many people get on the right path and clear about what they were born to do. Take the first step to realizing the life you deserve and desire by visiting thereinventionworkshop.com today. No more delays. No more denial. Reconnect with your true self. Learn to live with purpose and conviction and become who you were born to be. The world is waiting for you. What are you waiting for? Log on to thereinventionworkshop.com today. That's the reinventionworkshop.com. You may have heard me brag about Progressive Medical Center and just how much they've helped me with my health. And Dr. Goley, one thing that you've helped so many people with is migraines. Unfortunately, there are millions and millions of Americans who are suffering with migraines and headaches, and they're debilitating because it affects the quality of their life, and they cannot function properly. At Progressive, we get to the root cause because we understand that migraines could be caused by nutritional deficiencies, hormonal imbalances, believe it or not, delayed food sensitivities. And mm. once we determine what the real reason is, we put a plan of action together, with medication that we get them off slowly and we put them on an all-natural approach and the results are amazing. Incredible. I mean, there's so many people that can say they don't live their lives with migraines anymore thanks to Progressive Medical Center. And that's what's exciting and rewarding to us as physicians because we help our patients take control of their health and that's why they're living well. Why don't you get a hold of Progressive Medical Center today? Don't live in pain. Don't have migraines anymore. Just go to their website, ProgressiveMedicalCenter.com. This is your life. Live it well. In the military, things can change in an instant. Your personal life is just the same. 
Just like you protect our country, you want your family protected. That's why thousands of military members trust Navy Mutual Life Insurance. Navy Mutual is nonprofit, providing current and former Navy, Marine, and Coast Guard families with life insurance, no sales fees, and no military service restrictions. Protecting members on active duty and beyond. Call 1 800 628 6011. 800 628 6011. NavyMutual.org. Insuring those who serve. Talk to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com. Accomplishment Coaching is proud to present the following fine programming Accomplishment Coaching, where coaches lead and leaders coach. AccomplishmentCoaching.com. Welcome back to the Wealth Building Hour. Thanks for being with us. This is R.J. Kelly, founder and chief visionary officer of the Wealth Legacy Group and Wealth Legacy Family of Companies. We're recognized as the nation's premier organization for assisting clients in successfully navigating significant business and life and legacy issues while creating longstanding, mutually profitable relationships and having fun in the process. <laughs> you know, what's not to like about that? And in the course of that, we get to meet some of the, the finest, the best people in terms of their respective disciplines. And none of that, 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 that describes 2AT, uh, Max Bolka, because uh, Max, you have truly been not only a great coach and you, you um, are someone I trust and that we trust, but you you do it in such a lovely style, and we laugh a great deal. Uh, at you know, it does not have to be all serious, and ooh, you know, um, and so I really value that so in you so much. We were Thank you, ta- RJ. talking at last, and of course, Julia is also just your wife is just absolutely a lovely, gorgeous, wonderful human being. So in in our last segment, we were talking about the six steps to get past our our fear, lack, and struggle. This this self limiting core beliefs that that everyone has to a degree. And so we got through um, getting centered emotionally and and spiritually, first one. Second one, um, looking at it from the standpoint of thinking bigger. What is this idea that we can think of, which we'll call a reticular activating system that each one of us has in the base of our brains, that when we start getting clear on something that gets us excited, all of a sudden things will start coming to us to help us achieve that goal. It's an amazing um, uh, truth but most of us ignore that. Then you said, okay, but you have to be specific. You got to make it measurable or it's not a goal. If you're going to lose weight, how many pounds? By when? <laughs> you know? um, and then taking action, beginning. So we were just getting started on that when we, when we uh, were, went to commercial break. So let's finish up that taking action. And then we've got two more steps in as well. Yeah, you know, uh, thank you, RJ. You know, you got to take action. Take action, the universe will respond. I guarantee it. the The problem is people get stuck. Mm -hmm. They're they're they have a vision. They're thinking big. They have everything written down. They're being very clear and specific about the goals, and they're taking action. And they're still not getting the results that they want. What I would recommend there is double your goal. (laughs) Double your goal. And I know what everybody's thinking, Max. You don't understand. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough time to do what I'm doing now, and you want me to double it. Yes, particularly if you're getting stuck or hitting a plateau. And notice, I didn't say do twice as much. I said double your goal. Yeah, don't do twice as much. But you're stuck at a certain level of thinking. Einstein said you cannot solve a problem at the same level of consciousness or awareness that created it. You've got to go beyond that. So if you really want to succeed beyond your wildest expectations, you got to have some pretty wild expectations to begin with. And just don't be afraid to think big. It's just self-judgment. You know, I'm, I'm going to fail. Well, who cares? Do it with style. It's just between you and me. We don't worry about it. It's like the, the Olympic 100-meter dash runners. Is the person who ends up first, are they really um, 10 times better, 5 times better than the person who comes in right. eighth? The reality is they're only better by about, you know, maybe even an inch. Yeah hundreds of seconds. So I love what you're saying about doubling the goal does not mean doubling the workload. No, it's just that little extra bit might make the difference in breakthrough that could literally double their revenue, double their time, double their output, their, their results. They could be standing on the precipice of just having enormous growth. Uh, If they believe it's possible. 
Yeah, all I'm asking here is that your listeners just open their mind to the seemingly impossible for right now. Allow mm-hmm. the filters of your, of your perception to pick up on those things. I'll give you a quick example. Uh, several years ago, you know, it's always been my wife's dream to go to India, mm-hmm. and I never had that dream. <laughs> that was totally hers. <laughs> and one day I get one of these emails that says, how, how much would you charge to come to India and speak? Mm-hmm. And da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. And you know, I thought it was kind of a joke. It was in the inbox right next to the one that said I had $10 million in the Nigerian right. bank account right. somewhere. But I went through the motions. I sent them some emails. And I'm telling you, RJ, 90 days later, I was speaking down the street uh, from the Taj Mahal oh, to about goodness. 1,500 financial advisors. which is actually a pretty small crowd for them. Mm -hmm. But it was the experience of a lifetime. So don't be afraid of making a mistake or taking that action. Can you imagine if I didn't respond to that email? Do it with style. Do it with flair. Don't worry about it. You're reminding me of a couple... I know... you remind me of a few years ago when I, I typically will sit when I'm speaking, I will typically say a couple of my goals that I have not yet achieved. And w- at that time, one of my lifetime goals and where I got this, I don't know, but I just loved the idea of doing a tail hook landing on an aircraft carrier and a catapult launch. And so I would say that. And after one of my presentations, a fellow came up to me and he said, are you serious about, is that really a goal of yours to do a catapult launch and a tail hook landing on an aircraft carrier? And I said, it really is. I I just I just I don't know why, but it really is. He goes, he put his arm around my shoulder and says, RJ, today I'm gonna to become your very best I, friend. I can make that happen for you. Yep. <laughs> Former sub commander, and it wasn't thirty days later, I was in fact doing a tail hook landing yep. on an aircraft carrier, which is Beautiful. a remarkable experience, and the next day doing a catapult launch. So again, but Beautiful. it's our it's having the vision, articulating and then putting it out there and and You said what you want. You took action towards it, and there was somebody who could help you. That's right. So the fifth principle is to commit. Too many people dabble half-heartedly, whether it's marketing or relationships or in life. And again, it's because of the fear, lack, and struggle. But think back to when you were a kid. Those training wheels came off, and boom, you fell down. You got right back on it and said, darn it, I'm ready for this. (laughs) And, you know, there's, there's an old saying as we grow up from bicycles to bigger toys. You know, there's an old saying that says, if you want to take the island, you got to burn the boat. Yes. Don't look back. And the sixth and final principle is just rinse and repeat. Take the action and let go of your attachment to the results. Just pick something that excites you. If it doesn't pull you out of bed in the morning, stay in bed until you come up with something that does excite you. <laughs> I love and, that uh, uh-huh. th- That's how you do it. Those are the six steps. Well, and so... For and I, I'm just chuckling because I do love it when you say that. You know, if, if it doesn't, if you're not excited to get out of bed, then stay in bed until you figure out something that gets you excited. Now, um, for those right. of us getting older, there may be a bladder issue that that might prevent that. But anyway, get excited and and really, <laughs> one of the things I find is that particularly for enormously successful individuals that are kind of at a flat spot, they're kind of you know feeling a little bored. It's because when we look at their, what I call the, their looking back list, it's long. It's got all these accomplishments, all these achievements. But when, when I ask them, well, tell me what's on your bucket list. What are the things that you absolutely have to get done before you leave this planet? And they kind of hem and haw, even for these <clears throat> enormously mm-hmm. successful individuals. So usually what it comes down to is what there's, what's on their list, their bucket list, is it enough to get them excited and moving ahead? So they're just kind of floating through right. life. And so, it doesn't have to be getting on an aircraft carrier. So it could just be being the best parent or grandparent or making amends with a kid or a grandkid mm-hmm. or something like that, being a good person. But go for it. Don't, what are you waiting for? <laughs> well, Max, you, you know, I could, I could, I learn from you every single time I'm with you. And now after almost four years, I, we've been together a lot and I always learn from you. So wrap it up for us. We got about 30 seconds. Where, where do we start? You've given us these six great steps that I encourage people to go back and listen to again and again. How do people get more of this information if they want to get you? Your, your book, your your movie, and so forth. Well, like I said, I didn't come empty-handed today, so I've got a special offer for your listeners, RJ, to help them achieve their success. Now, I do have a confession up front. The book is sold out, at least temporarily, which means that's good news for me, not so good news for the listeners, but here's what I can do. When they buy the DVD, the movie that I'm in, with Jack Canfield and John Gray on The Keeper of the Keys, and that means the keys to success, and it's kind of a, uh, it's a, more like a course that you go over again and again, similar to what we did here. You review it many times, and it starts to sink in. So when they buy that DVD course, I will email them 
the four chapters from the cover authors from the book, Success is a State of Mind. We'll waive the shipping and taxes, and we'll get them a copy of this interview. Perfect. This is R.J. Kelly. If you go to maxbolka.com, B-O-L-K-A, maxbolka.com, you can find more about this. This is R.J. Kelly. You listen to the Wealth Building Hour. It's been great to have you with us. Go out and make a lasting difference. Stand for good. Has your business been appified? Are you tired of doing marketing that doesn't deliver results? Mobile apps build loyalty and quality retention. Your app from UPG Mobile puts your business on their mind and at their fingertips. UPG Mobile will give you a custom app highlighting how you are unique, targeting your message, and improving your open rates. Appify your business and amplify your presence with your customers at upgmobilemarketinggroup.com. Securing Our eCity Foundation is a nonprofit organization focused on cybersecurity awareness and education. Formed in 2011, their mission is to enable every San Diegan to live, work, and play safely in the cyber world. For more information, visit securingourecity.org or call 619-630-2444. securingourecity.org, 619-630-2444. securingourecity.org. Kenja Dixon was crowned the number one sales executive through hard work, deep thinking, and the revelation of universal talk laws. He now wants to share these lessons with you. Universal talk laws are what you need to know and use in business and at home to have successful and effective conversations. Kenja Dixon shares his wisdom, action plans, and wealth. Each book comes with a chance to win $10,000. Find universal talk laws at KenjaDixon.com. Attention business owners, does it feel like your business owns you? See if you qualify for a free 90-minute business coaching session to help you build a business, not a job. During this free 90-minute strategic consultation, one of our senior coaches will help you map out the best way to grow your company and get your life back. To learn more, go to MauiMasterminds.com slash scale now. That's MauiMasterminds.com slash scale now. Do you want to be a professional coach? Are you in business trying to make a real difference with people you manage or work with? Have you started a coaching practice that isn't quite getting off the ground? Get the skills you need to be a successful coach today with the Coach's Training Program from Accomplishment Coaching. The Coach's Training Program will show you how to help others focus and be more fulfilled. Whether you want to improve your company's bottom line or create a thriving coaching practice, Accomplishment Coaching can give you the distinctions and practices you need to coach others effectively today. Accomplishment Coaching has spent six years developing a cutting-edge coaches training program that will have you ready to coach people professionally in just 12 months, and you don't have to take time off work to do it. To find out more about the Coaches Training Program, just call 1-888-548-6813. That's 1-888-548-6813. 